The key criteria for a collaborator for me is somebody who is engaged, who is um, excited about the project, who I know will be intellectually honest about the project and really approach it with a sense of enthusiasm and collaboration. And I've been incredibly lucky to find a lot of these people um, in my career through various research projects I've been engaged in. There's many different ways to find collaborators. I think it really depends on the topic. Uh, sometimes you're a collaborator, you're, you're inspired to collaborate because mm -hmm. you heard a great talk. And I can't tell you how many times I've kind of walked up to people and just started a conversation. Um, sometimes the question drives you to go look broadly in the literature and if there's the right person to address, I've also cold called people. And, and if we enjoy our conversation by phone, we just organically move forward from there. Um, sometimes it's because of programmatic priorities and um, we find always excited people in our midst that, that, um, that we can figure out an area of mutual interest that we can advance forward. So there's, there's many ways to get there. Uh, I typically uh, try to uh, rationalize my weaknesses and strengths. And if there is a new idea and I know that I'm probably better off uh, collaborating with somebody because this is not my forte, I would approach uh, that lab or that person to say, look, this is an exciting new idea. What do you think? Uh, it's a two-way street, so you have to contribute something uh, while you seeking help uh, and assistance. And usually uh, people who do science, they're naturally interested in new things and new ideas. It's sort of kind of fermentation process that glues us all together and creates teams. Finding good collaborators is really a key to good science because nobody can do everything. You have to be able to find the people who know what they're doing and can help you decide what are the right questions. So the way I find good collaborators is I look for the people who are the leaders in the field who are doing the best work. And then I approach them and say, hey, this is what we have. Can we work together? And people are almost always very receptive. And then it's a lot more fun to work together that way too. Finding collaborator is very important for scientific research. It will improve the quality of your studies and then expand the, the significance of your study. So um, personally, I have two approaches to finish this. One is by uh, reading a lot of literatures and find out the researchers all over the world which is doing the similar work or they are having the established accomplishment in the directions which you are interested in now. And then just write an email, make a phone call to make the connections. And the second approach will be expose yourself by attending the conference, international conference, and by introducing people your work. And then by doing this, you are actually making the collaborators to find you. And then I think by doing both of the things, you are expanding the uh, possibility to find nice researchers.